Newton was educated at Grantham Grammar School, where he probably learned some mathematics, not a great deal, we don't know exactly how much. And then he went to Cambridge, to Trinity College in Cambridge, and there he wouldn't have studied mathematics in the way that a modern student might go to university and study mathematics. There was no such thing as a degree in mathematics. Uh, but Newton began to read for himself, he attended some lectures, and he was really self-taught in mathematics at that stage. And the things he read in particular were uh, a book by Descartes, the French mathematician Descartes, called The Geometry, uh, Geometria in Latin, Newton would have read it in Latin. That was one of the big influences on his thinking. Uh, the other book that he read was by John Wallace, an English mathematician, uh, which again was highly influential. And from these books, Newton began to think about certain problems that were relevant at the time, uh, and from those he developed what we now call the calculus, and I can go into more detail later about how this happened. But the calculus was one of Newton's big discoveries in uh, the early 1660s, when he was about 22 years old, so about the age of a modern university student. Uh, the other big discovery about that time was the binomial theorem, which again is something that is taught to students perhaps in the sixth form at school when they're 16 to 18, that sort of age. And that was another really important discovery about this time and related to the calculus in certain ways. So those were the two really big mathematical discoveries in the early 1660s.